Joyce, I have to start with you. We all know the theatre expression, break a leg. You took it way too far. What happened to you? I took you? it entirely too literally. <laughs> what happened? Um, I think I was a bit over-exuberant the opening night of The Barber of Seville and, and um, my heel found just the right spot in the stage mm. and, and sent me flying and, and I broke my right fibula. But you then went on and did the rest of the production in a wheelchair. I did. Well, I did the rest of that performance on my feet, hobbling very sort of carefully, and then finished the run in, in a wheelchair. Yeah. You could certainly sense that both of you are having a lot of fun with this music. And I have to say, the Haydn, the Scena di Berenice, which I didn't know at all, is such a fun it's a piece, isn't it? It's it his, it's his greatest uh, piece for voice, really, his greatest Scena of many, many operas that he wrote. And great music for you, Joyce. I know you love virtuosic piece, but, pieces, but also things with some real fire and fury, and it's certainly got that in space. Absolutely, and it's a real discovery for me. I had not known this before, and when Sir Roger invited me to sing it, I was really thrilled because he gives you everything in about yeah. 12 minutes and asks everything from high to low, yeah. piano forte, pathos and drama and fire, and yeah, I, what more could a singer ask for? <laughs> well, interesting that it is obviously a big anniversary year for Haydn. Yes. Lots of talk about the symphonies, the string quartets. We don't often talk about Haydn, the opera composer, but there are 20-something operas. Yeah, there are a lot, and he conducted many, of course, other people's operas in Esterhaza, including Marriage of Figaro. Mm -hmm. and Gluck's Orfeo and I mean there were there were 50 60 performances each winter and he was very very busy for those years doing opera yeah he was extremely experienced as you can hear from this uh, marvelous um, uh, Shena it was originally written for famous uh, soprano Signora Banti and he said in his London notebook she sung very scanty <laughs> yes he wasn't terribly impressed <laughs> yes. was he no. with the first performance <laughs> But she apparently didn't read music or words. She was taught both of them. Singers in those days were, you know, weren't, weren't quite as intelligent as they are now. Well, but I bet they had wonderful ears. I bet they did. She learned an yeah. aria in an afternoon, apparently. Bingo, Amazing. she knew it all. Yeah. So she had the ears, but maybe not the voice. <laughs> you, know, you can't have it all. You can't have it all. <laughs> but I will say, from my perspective, you can tell that he knew the voice incredibly yeah. well because he asks just enough of what it can give, and it really, he really knows how to show off the voice in it. Well, great to talk to you both. Thanks very much indeed for joining me. Thank, Thank you. you.